When we first conceived the idea of an Achdu trip to Israel, one of the main ideas that we had was that it was very important that students went. Flatbush bringing students on this trip highlights to me how much Flatbush really you know, wants to connect us with Israel. Yeshiva Flatbush gave their students opportunities to learn about what's going on in Israel right now. It was particularly important to us that our students were the focus of the mission. I think sending students really exemplified this mission because it showed this is our next generation and we want them to know this. The thing that stood out most to me was every single time we got off a bus, anybody we met, as soon as we met them and they understood where we were coming from and they stood that we brought students, children with us, it became an immediately emotional moment. Every person that we met or spoke with or spent time with couldn't believe the reason we were there was just to say, we are here to support you. We are here to give you guys hope, to, to tell you that we're on your side. The Yeshuv Shlomit, a settlement in the south of Israel, had to be relocated because of October 7th. And the entire community now of about 400 people were living in this five-star hotel and resort. So when we got there, we came with a lot of duffels of goodies, uh, toys and arts and crafts and candies and socks. It was as if their, their world just changed on a dime. One of the most inspiring moments for me or happiest moments for me there was when I saw a bunch of the kids fighting over, we had given out candy and other toys, and they're fighting over the flavors of Mike and Ike's. And the mom, the mom was so happy, she was smiling, so my heard asked her, oh, why, why are you happy to see your kids fighting? It's just, all brothers fight, it's perfectly normal. So it's the first time that she has seen her kids do have some normal childhood experiences. I sat down to next to two beautiful, sweet, friendly women, and of course, it just so happens those were two of the widows of Shlomi. And without asking any questions, they just told me what happened on October 7th, that the sirens went off and their husbands, along with nine other men, picked up and went out of the community to defend the hundreds of citizens. And once they did that, they realized that the town next door called Prigan was elderly people who did not have a defense system. And without hesitation, they picked up and went and went to defend that town as well. And they kept every single person in three towns safe. Hundreds and hundreds of people were saved. There were 11 men in this group together who went out to fight. A few were injured, but four men lost their lives. They left behind four widows, Sophia, Neora, Nechama, and Dana, and 15 young children who do not have fathers now. These people went through such atrocities, such tragedies, and they took these experiences that they had, horrific experiences, and they used them to inspire us to spread positivity. I remember one of the Almano telling us, look, if we don't maintain some level of achtut, of some level of unity, of friendship afterwards, my husband's death would have been in vain. Getting to hear like their brave, incredible stories firsthand, and being able to offer them just like a tiny bit of hope and comfort was really amazing. Seeing all the people that were misplaced from this kibbutz is not such a great sight, but to see how they're all so strong and united, like they're all together. They were so happy. These, this community, they were such happy people in the middle of a war, had to leave their homes, but they were together. They were still together. They ended every story with positivity. We went there to strengthen them, and everyone who came with Yeshiva Flatbush ended up being strengthened by the people that we met there. It was really special being with Rabbi Bira and Rabbi Sklare and Rabbi Saidi and Rabbi Yaish. I want to thank the rabbis, the administrators, the lay leaders that stood behind this mission for putting it together. I definitely thank them for, for giving me the opportunity to go on a life-changing trip like this one. I would encourage everyone and anyone who can. I don't think there's anything I could recommend more. As we know, tonight is a beautiful night of celebration, of singing, of music, and of course of support to the Yeshuvah of Shlomit. Our support tonight, Bezrat Hashem, is going to show them the support that is necessary to Bezrat Hashem rebuild this town. That we should build a Beit Knesset there, and more than anything, that we're going to dance together next Shmini Atzeret with Sifrei Torah in Shlomit. Bezrat Hashem, Tibaneh, Vitikonen, Bimera, Amen.